We'll be talking about circle in this video. Okay, moving on to our third 2D figure, which is a circle. Now, circle is basically an important figure because any circle or object that we need to find area or perimeter, it's rarely easy to find. And when we were coming up with the the whole how to find the area, it was uh, you know oddly the hardest thing to do. So knowing this information that we have gained from past people, what they gathered as what the area, how to calculate the area, let's go ahead and discuss about it. So the area of a circle or a circle itself, you can think of a circle as a chocolate chips cookie or any type, any flavor cookie that you like. So it has to be cookie, which is a circular shape, okay? Now, since it has a circular shape, it is not called a polygon. Now, polygon are basically something that has sides. Now, last two uh, figures that you talked about, which are rectangle and square, are polygon itself. But this, since it has no boundaries, right here, it doesn't have straight lines, it has circular path, it's not a polygon. Knowing this information, we should know two more things. That there is a center point over here, as, as we should know. There is a center point, midpoint, you can say, center point located over here. Now, if you take that center point, <coughs> excuse me, if you take that center point and draw a line to the end, it would be known as a radius. Or many radius is called radii. Okay? And if you take that center point and make a line from anywhere across to another endpoint, passing through the midpoint, which would be known as diameter. Now, diameter is basically two times radius because it's half of that, and then you have another half. Uh, one radius right here from one part to another part and one radius would be here So it's two times the radius. Knowing this information we can come up with the formula of area So the area which is the shaded area over here would be pi r Squared now pi has a certain value pi is basically the uh, the length of the whole figure, okay? So that would be the pi would basically represent 3.1415 and so on and so forth. But approximately, it's all it's uh, it's calculated as 3.14. Okay, so the area would be pi times the it's dependent upon your radius that you have. Now another important thing in circle is that the perimeter. It's actually, the idea is the same of perimeter, but it's actually known as circumference, which is the boundaries. Now, since we said it's not a, pal a polygon, okay, it's, it's not actually called, in terms, it's not, it's, called, it's not called perimeter. It's known as circumference of a circle. So the circumference of a circle would be, there's two formulas, and both, even if you use anyone you basically end up with the same answer pi times the diameter or 2 pi r now if you notice there's something happening is that both are the same really because you have two times the radi uh, radius and we said whenever there's two times the radius it's diameter so instead of saying 2 times pi times uh, r we can just use uh, pi times d now notice that we are not doing 2 times pi plus r because then we are using the strict uh, dis distributive property which is 2 times pi and then we are adding that to 2 times the radius. We are not doing that here. Okay? It's wrong. Because we are uh, doing some other property which is 2 times radius uh, times diameter which is we are going in um, of uh, the properties. Okay? So, knowing these things about circle, let's go ahead and move on to our next 2D figure. I see you.